What's going on guys? I'm Chris and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going through my entire Blu-ray collection for 2021. It sounds so weird saying that. Um, usually I do this video in June, but this year I decided I'm going to start doing it at the beginning of each year, kind of as a benchmark. I know a lot of people in the space do that as well. So I'm here to go through every single movie and TV show that I own on Blu-ray. I have a stack over there that I'm gonna show real quick, but I actually have a video that I will link above to that stack because I got some free Blu-rays from a friend and I'm gonna watch through them and see which ones I actually wanna add to the collection. So they're not on the shelf. Also, I do own The Gentleman. It's just not here right now. I have a friend borrowing it. So here's the stack of movies over in the corner. None of them are on the shelf, but I do own them. And if this is your first video, definitely consider hitting the subscribe button. I do Blu-ray content, movie reviews, rankings, all that good stuff. You guys can check out the channel for all that. And one final thing before I get into this. I do have them alphabetized and I have my Pixar, Walt Disney Animated Films, MCU, and Criterions in their own sections. Without further ado, let's conquer the shelf. All right, so first up we've got Eight Mile, which is a really solid rap movie, probably the best to exist. 21 Jump Street and 22 Jump Street, two of my favorite comedies from the 2010s. 1917, a movie that I was a little let down by, but I still think it's really good. I just have to give it another shot. The Alfred Hitchcock Essentials Collection with Rear Window, Vertigo, North by Northwest, Psycho, and The Birds. Psycho is easily my favorite of the bunch here, but I really do enjoy most of them. I think The Birds is a little overrated, but again, Hitchcock is one of the goats, and I need to check out more of his work. Then we've got Alien, sci-fi horror classic. I love the slipcover. And Aliens, this cool 30th anniversary edition. I really like the box set. It's really just cool. American Beauty, one of the best performances I've ever seen. American Psycho. Did you know I'm utterly insane? Let's see Paul Allen's card. I quote this movie all the time with my friends, probably into an unhealthy amount. And uh, yeah, it's great. Next, we have Arthur Christmas, just a really underrated Christmas movie. Baby Driver, one of my favorites from 2017. The editing in this movie is off the rails. The Back to the Future trilogy. 1.21 gigawatts, great Scott. I love this trilogy. I was actually watching part three the other day with a commentary track from PMI. Shout out to Eric from PMI. Next, we've got Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, and The Dark Knight Rises, this really cool lenticular little digi book. Um, Dark Knight's my favorite, followed by Begins, followed by Rises, I think, but I might like Begins more, or sorry, I might like Rises more. I have to rewatch that trilogy soon, but it's one of the best. That's just like, uh, your opinion, man. The Big Lebowski with the signature white Russian on the front, one of my favorite drinks. Um, and I really like the steelbook on the back. You've got the dude abides, the classic quote from that movie. Next is The Big Sick, one of my favorites from 2017, a really just underrated, slept on romantic comedy. You guys should check this out if you haven't seen it. It's hilarious. Kumail Nanjiani kind of got his breakthrough here. Big Trouble in Little China, pure 80s fun, directed by John Carpenter. Uh, my friend Nathan Jones actually sent this to me, so thank you if you're watching, Nathan. Birdman, uh, I'm glad this one best picture. Keaton's amazing, and the slip is really cool. Birds of Prey, look at that slip. Thank you, Trevor from Film Geeks for sending this to me. You're the man, one of my best buds in the whole world, and uh, this movie rocks. Appreciate you sending it, man. And then we've got Boogie Nights, a five out of five movie in my opinion. Uh, fantastic, and Mark Wahlberg, Dirk Diggler, great. Next up, we've got the Bourne trilogy consisting of Identity, Supremacy, and Ultimatum. Ultimatum is my favorite, followed by, I think, Identity, then Supremacy, but all three are solid. I don't own the other Bourne movies. This is all I need. Next, we have Braveheart. And dying in their beds many years from now, would you be willing to trade all the days from this day to that for one chance, just one chance, to come back here and tell our enemies that they may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom? Best Picture winner and classic. The Breakfast Club, Don't You Forget About Me. <laughs> Bullet, one of the best car chases in movie history. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, a classic, classic Western. I love their chemistry. Casablanca, here's looking at you, kid. Casino Royale, I'm excited to rewatch this one leading up to No Time to Die. Castaway, Wilson! Catch Me If You Can, slept on Spielberg movie. Christmas Vacation, I like this movie, but I don't love it like most people, but I think that it still has its moments. It's kind of just decent to me, but you know, I bought it, why not? It was like $4. Clueless, a really nice steelbook. This movie is actually pretty solid. I watched it for the first time this year. Shout out Cam for buying this for me. It's one of her favorites. Cool Hand Luke. <clears throat> What we've got here is failure to communicate. I love this movie. It's one of my favorite like prison movies. Then we have Creed and Creed 2. I prefer the first one, but Ludwig Gordonson's score in both of these is awesome. And they're such great continuations of the Rocky franchise. I have to own them, I'm a big Rocky fan. Next we've got Deadpool and Deadpool 2. I prefer the first one, but both are really solid. 
I'm excited for Deadpool 3. We need more cable. We need more cable in Deadpool. What a duo, but the first Deadpool I've seen way too many times. It's a great movie though. The Depatted. This movie I quote constantly with my friends and it's my favorite Scorsese movie. So happy it won Best Picture. Then we have Die Hard, one of the best Christmas movies ever and movies in general. Uh, probably in my top 20, top 25. I didn't put it in the video, but it was number 21. So I think now it's definitely in my top 20. I watch it multiple times every year. Die Hard 2, Die Harder, and Die Hard with a Vengeance. I'll pick up Live Free or Die Hard eventually, but uh, I actually have a Die Hard ranking on the channel, so feel free to check that out. The Disaster Artist. I did not head her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not head her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. I really like The Room. It's a guilty pleasure for me, but The Disaster Artist is fantastic. Django! Django Unchained, top five Tarantino for me. It's really, really good. Dodgeball, hilarious comedy. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. And Donnie Darko, this movie will destroy your mind, but if you really dig deep into it, I think it's probably a masterpiece. Next we have, this shelf's pretty tight, so I'm gonna pull Dunkirk out. We have Dunkirk, a uh, really solid war movie, probably one of my favorite war movies, and it's top five Nolan for me. I'm gonna put that up there so that I have more room to pull them out. We have Elf. Uh, I've been listening to Pennies from Heaven way too much recently. Classic Christmas movie. E.T. Phone Home. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around, look around once in a while. You could miss it. I won't break the first rule, but great Fincher movie. The Fighter. I think it's Bale's best performance. First Man, not my favorite Chazelle movie, but still good. Ford v. Ferrari, gorgeous steelbook, and one of my favorites from 2019. 2019 was two years ago. Isn't that crazy? Forrest Gump. From that day on, if I was going somewhere, I was running. I adore this movie. It's one of my favorites ever. Frosty the Snowman. Get Out, probably should have won Best Picture. Gifted, this is one of two movies that I own on Blu-ray. Actually, this is one of the few movies I own that I have not seen. Every other movie I've shown so far and most of the ones I will show you, I have seen, so this is one. So I'm gonna put up a count. This is the only movie so far that I have not seen on Blu-ray, but Cam bought it for me. She said it's really good, so I'm excited to check it out. I love Chris Evans. Look at that beard, what a man. Next we have Gladiator. My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius, father to a murdered son, husband to a murdered wife, and I will have my vengeance in this life with next. I left out some part about the Phoenix Legions of the North, whatever, but it's a great movie, and I have not watched it on 4K yet, but I'm excited to. Then we've got the Godfather trilogy. I have not seen the Godfather part three, so that is the second movie that I own that I have not seen. But I'm gonna watch through, rewatch one and two and watch the third one for the first time at some point this year. Next we have Gone Girl. Um, it comes with a cool little book. Probably, I think this was my number four Fincher movie. It's really good. Good Will Hunting, one of my favorite movies of all time, without a doubt. Um, Goodfellas, a really good Scorsese movie. Green Book, I like this movie. I think it's got a lot of heart to it. Um, I'm probably gonna get dislikes for that. The Green Mile movie was uh, really emotionally powerful. Watched it in the 100 Movies Project this past year. Uh, great performances and just a movie I don't know if I'll rewatch a lot, but. Happy to own it. Hacksaw Ridge, probably, maybe Andrew Garfield's best performance. Halloween and the 2018 Halloween. I enjoy both, they're fun to watch in October. And the Harry Potter 8 film collection. I love me some Harry Potter and I was late to the party because I watched them for the first time in 2018, but this set is beautiful and shout out to Cam for getting, this me, getting me into Harry Potter back in the day. Love it now. Whew, I'm sweating. There's David Pollock, go dogs, but yeah. I just did the top row and literally, I'm perspiring right now, so I might turn the fan on. So if you guys hear a little background noise, it's the fan. All right, so moving right along, we've got The Hateful Eight, a really cool slip cover, but it's one of my least favorite Tarantino movies, but it's still a good movie. Heat, a Michael Mann movie and one of the best heist movies I've ever seen. Hell or High Water, only seen this once in theaters, was a little let down, haven't seen it since 2016, but got it on Black Friday and I'm excited to give it another watch soon. Holes, zero! This movie is a childhood favorite of mine, and I'm so happy I own it on Blu-ray. It's kind of a hard one to find. Home Alone on Steelbook. Home Alone 2 Lost in New York. Home Alone is my favorite Christmas movie of all time. Home Alone 2 is a really solid follow-up. Hoosier is a really good uh, basketball movie. How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the only Grinch I acknowledge. I watch this every year, and it's just a 22-minute little short thing, and I love it. Inception, Nolan's best movie in my opinion. I really do think that. Indiana Jones Complete Adventures. I am going to be reviewing these movies in depth on my channel this year, so stay tuned for that. I love this franchise to death. Inglorious Bastards. Antonio Margariti. Corlami. Dominic de Coco. Bravo. Very great movie. Probably my second or third favorite Tarantino. Might even be my favorite. I have to think about it. The Invisible Man, my top three from this past year. It, shout out to Trevor from Film Geeks for sending you this one. Uh, I don't own Chapter 2, I don't like Chapter 2, but the first one is a really solid horror movie, and it's a fun time. It's a Wonderful Life, a Christmas classic I've only seen once. I did not rewatch it this year, but 
I will next year. I feel bad. Jackie Brown, uh, probably t towards the bottom of Tarantino, but still a really good movie. Really well written. Has some nice twists and turns. Jaws, one of my favorites of all time. Joker, how about another joke, Murray? This movie is dark as hell, but I really do like it a lot. Jurassic Park, classic. The Karate Kid, I love, I love the steelbook. I need to watch Cobra Kai. Like this video if you think I should watch Cobra Kai. Kill Bill Volume 1 and Kill Bill Volume 2. I prefer the first one, but this one's also really good too. I don't know. Maybe I like the second one more. It's got better dialogue. The first one has more action. And Knives Out, one of the best movies from 2019. I love this one. Next, we've got La La Land. Uh, here's to the fools who dream, am I right? A beautiful steelbook. And genuinely, one of my favorite movies of all time. It just has a very soft spot in my heart, considering that I saw it with my girlfriend in theaters after we'd only been dating for a little, and now we're dating for four years. Les Mis, two, four, six, oh, one. Look down, look down. One of my favorite, favorite musicals, and I did not see this for the first time until earlier this year. Check out my video with you, and we uh, did a review of this, so check it out. Little Women, one of my favorites from last year. Only watched it once in theaters, haven't got around to it again, but really made me teary-eyed in theaters. Logan, what a send-off to the character. Lord of the Rings trilogy, I think they're really great movies, but it's been so long, I have to rewatch them. Probably gonna do that this year, might even make a video on it. Magnificent Seven, I grew up with that one, and then the remake with uh, Denzel. I enjoy this one a lot. Magnolia, top three PTA. Shout out to Eddie S for sending this to me. You're the man. The Martian, really solid. Mary Poppins Steelbook and Mary Poppins Returns. You know, the first one's a classic. Mary Poppins Returns, not as good, but it has Lin-Manuel Miranda, so I gotta give it that. Mean Girls, I like this movie. I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> Memento, thank you to Danny K for sending me this movie. It is uh, really mind-bending. I've only seen it once, but hey, I own it now. Mid-90s, Jonah Hill's directorial debut and really slept on A24 movie and movie in general. Like, I really do enjoy this one. Uh, check it out if you haven't. Miracle, one of my favorite sports movies ever. Again. Mission Impossible 1 through 5 and Fallout. This one's my favorite, and then uh, out of these, I'd say I'd go Ghost Protocol, probably the first one, or Rogue Nation, and then 3, and then 2. But they're all really good. 2 is the only questionable one. Moneyball, another one of my favorite sports movies. And Aaron Sorkin, you are the man when it comes to screenwriting. Mystic River, this movie is a 5 out of 5 to me. It might go down to 4.5 on rewatch, but Sean Penn's phenomenal. Whoa, I dropped it. <laughs> Sean Penn's phenomenal, Tim Robbins' phenomenal, and this is a Clint Eastwood movie. Really dark, but also really great. Check it out if you haven't. National Treasure, I'm gonna steal the Declaration of Independence. Childhood favorite, Nostalgia is Real, and National Treasure 2. Saw this one in theaters, and I still really enjoy it. I want National Treasure 3. Where is it? I will make this video every year and say, where is National Treasure 3? Until the Blu-ray is sitting right here. No Country for Old Men, almost a perfect movie, I think. It probably is a perfect movie. And Old School, a hilarious comedy. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, uh, perhaps my favorite Quentin Tarantino film, one of my favorite movies of all time. If that's not any indication, then I don't know what is. Love it. Quote it more than any movie with my friends. Quote it daily. Tonight the night, why not? The Other Guys, <laughs> my, one of my favorite comedies ever. It's literally hilarious. Oh, I could quote this for days. I will spare you right now, but uh, aim for the bushes. Parasite, a Best Picture winner. Peanuts Holiday Collection. Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, Curse of the Black Pearl. Uh, Dead Man's Chest. And At World's End. I love these first three Pirates movies. I don't really care for the other two at all, but the first three Pirates are, like, amazing. The Planet of the Apes trilogy, my favorite, is probably War, then Dawn, then Rise. However, I need to rewatch them. It's been quite some time. Polar Express. I like this movie. I like it. Nostalgia, but hey... I like it. I just don't rewatch it a lot. The Prestige, Abracadabra. Sop 2 Nolan for me. Love it. Prisoners, a masterpiece. Literally, Jalen Hall and uh, Jackman should have been nominated. This movie was totally robbed by the Oscars. Got one nomination for cinematography, which is blasphemous. Pulp Fiction, I don't have much to say because it's one of Tarantino's, if not his best movie, top three. I mean, I love it. It's a classic. A Royale with cheese. A Quiet Place, can't wait for part two, and I love the steelbook. Remember the Titans, my favorite sports movie of all time. Left side, strong side, ah, great movie. Reservoir Dogs, one of my favorite one location movies in Tarantino's original film. Rocky Man, Taron Edgerton should have been nominated for an Oscar. Rocky, the heavyweight collection, which is Rocky one through six. Uh, the first Rocky is an all time classic. Five is not my favorite though. It's, I actually don't enjoy that one. And I've only seen Balboa once. So I'm gonna watch through all these eventually. Again, cause I've seen them all. Then we've got Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Santa Claus coming to town. Santa Claus. Santa Claus 2. 
and the Santa Claus 3. I have a ranking up on the channel of those. Um, just fun holiday movies, especially the first one. All right, moving on to the next section, we have Saving Private Ryan. I watched this for the first time back in like May. Blown away. What a, what a great war movie. Probably the best war movie of all time and my favorite war movie. Saw 1 through 7. Dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun 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 the first Saw is amazing. One of my favorite horror movies. School of Rock, just such a fun movie and really just like, what a banger. This movie slaps. Also, Jack Black's TikTok is hilarious. Shawshank Redemption, uh, number one movie on IMDb. Great. The Shining. Here's Johnny. Silver Lines Playbook. I really do enjoy this movie. Everyone should see it if you haven't. Singing in the Rain. Classic musical. Sky High. I mean, I love this one. It's a childhood classic, and I've done a watch-along on it for the channel. I've seen it like two times last year. I rewatched it. Skyfall. The Social Network. Uh, one of my favorite movies of all time. It's in my top ten. Probably actually my top three. I literally like in love with that movie. Uh, the Sound of Music. What a musical Best Picture winner. Such like a feel-good movie. Spectre. It's fine. It could be better, but I still enjoy it. Uh, the Sam Raimi Spider-Man trilogy. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. What an animated movie. What a powerhouse of a movie. A Star is Born, this movie was robbed of so many Oscars that talking about it makes me upset, but Bradley Cooper should have been nominated for director, should have won for actor, this movie should have won Best Picture, Lady Gaga should have won. Ah, oh, it's so frustrating. Star Wars, The Complete Saga, which is the original trilogy and the prequels. Star Wars, whoa, that's backwards for some reason. We have <laughs> Star Wars, The Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, The Rise of Skywalker, and Solo. I love the original trilogy, my favorite trilogy of all time. Prequels are really solid too. I grew up with those. The Force Awakens is great. Last Jedi is not good. Rise of Skywalker is trash, but I own it because I'm a completionist freak, and it was on sale on Black Friday. And Solo is all right. It's very meh at best. It's like the least Star Warsy movie. And Rogue One I used to have. I sold it. I still have to rebuy it so that I can own all the Star Wars movies because I'm a big freak. Step Brothers. A few Brennan. Steve Jobs, one of the best scripts of recent years. Of course, it's Aaron Sorkin. And Michael Fassbender should have won the Oscar. Super bad. My favorite comedy of all time, probably. Taxi Driver. You talking to me? Ted, it's funny enough. Tenet on 4K. Whoo, that's a beautiful steelbook and a beautiful movie. Perhaps my favorite of the year. Check out my top 10 of last year. John Carpenter's The Thing, one of the greatest horror movies ever when it comes to practical effects and just the isolationist feel. This is the end. Hilarious movie. Dan McBride almost made me pee my pants when I saw this movie. It's that funny. Three Billboards. If Get Out didn't win Best Picture, I think this should have. Uh, both were better than uh, whatever won that year. Shape of Water. And I haven't even seen Shape of Water. <laughs> Uh, Titanic, that disgusts me. I tried to get the sticker off, it didn't work, but what a gorgeous slipcover for a gorgeous movie. Top Gun, can't wait for Top Gun 2. This movie's pure 80s fun. Training Day, King Kong ain't got shit on me. This is one of the best performances I've ever seen from Denzel. Tropic Thunder, oh my gosh, this movie is hilarious. RDJ got nominated for an Oscar. The Truman Show, sometimes I feel like I'm stuck in this movie and everyone just watching my life. I don't know, I've always thought about that. I used to question it back in the day in like middle school. Uncut Gems, uh, this is how I win. Us, really cool steelbook. West Side Story, excited for Spielberg's rendition of it. Whiplash, top three favorite movies of all time. Were you rushing or were you dragging? So you do know the difference. White Christmas, a very fun, uh, heartfelt, sweet Christmas musical. Uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, I love Pure Imagination. You might recognize it as my outro music. Wizard of Oz, all time great movie. Wolf of Wall Street, top two Scorsese. Wonder Woman, probably my favorite DCEU movie. Check out my ranking. And Zombieland, a really underrated comedy. Haven't seen Double Tap, but that's going to do it for the alphabetized Blu-rays. Now moving on to the Criterion Collection. So I have my Criterions right here. I don't own a lot. They're actually organized by spine number, and you can see them all right now, but still. You've got Seven Samurai. Watched this for the first time. Loved it. Silence of the Lambs, which actually won Best Picture and uh, won the Big Five Oscars, so gotta own that one. The Hidden Fortress, the inspiration for Star Wars, essentially. And uh, really glad I own this one. It's a cool, cool movie. Dazed and Confused, favorite coming of age movie ever. This is also very sloppy, I apologize. Oh God. Curious Case of Benjamin Button. I love this movie and I don't know why it's in a regular Blu-ray case. 12 Angry Men, the best like one location movie ever and an all time great movie that most people would say is one of the best movies of all time. Christopher Nolan's first movie following. On the waterfront, could have been a contender. By the way, that's Marlon Brando, and it's uh, one of his best performances. Might even be better than The Godfather. Punch Drunk Love, a really great PTA movie that features a nice romance and a beautiful ending shot. In the Heat of the Night, another Best Picture winner. The Princess Bride. My name is Inigo Montoya. You kill my father. Prepare to die. 
Grand Budapest Hotel, my only Wes Anderson movie I've seen. And pulling these criterions out is killing my arm, by the way. Uh, the Great Escape, I grew up with this one. It's probably one of the best prison movies of all time. It's just an epic of a movie. And The Irishman, Martin Scorsese's latest film. All right, so now we're into the Walt Disney animated classic movies. We've got Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. These are organized by release date, by the way. Pinocchio, Jiminy Cricket, Pinocchio, Pizza Pine, 101 Dalmatians, beautiful steelbook. The Jungle Book, I love this movie. It's one of my favorite Disney animated films. King Louie's great, by the way. And the remake, which I do like. I have the live action remakes that I have right next to their animated counterparts as they all fall over. This always happens. Uh, the Little Mermaid, Under the Sea. Beauty and the Beast. And The Steel Book, because I really do like that live action remake. Aladdin, probably one of the best Disney animated movies ever. The Lion King, the king of animated movies and Disney animated movies. Tangled, slept on movie. I mean, that's better than Frozen. It's honestly probably the best from the newer age of Disney movies. Wreck-It Ralph, one of the coolest steelbooks I own. Frozen, it's a little overhyped, but I really enjoy it still. And Moana, those are the only Disney animated movies I own. I gotta pick up some more. With all of them on Disney+, Plus, it makes it like harder for me to wanna buy them or justify it, but still, I gotta pick up some more. Next, we have the MCU in order of release date, starting with Iron Man, my top three favorite MCU movies. Incredible Hulk with a really cool slipcover. Iron Man 2. Thor. Captain America, the first Avenger. The Avengers, that rounds out phase one. I wish this had the slip cover, but life goes on. Iron Man 3, Thor The Dark World, Captain America The Winter Soldier, a really good MCU movie, probably top five. Guardians of the Galaxy, modern classic. I would literally say everyone loves that movie. Age of Ultron, I don't know why it gets as much hate. It's not amazing, but it's still not terrible. Ant-Man, I love it. Civil War, top four MCU for me. Doctor Strange, Guardians 2, Spider-Man Homecoming, Thor Ragnarok on Steelbook. This movie I don't love as much as I used to, but I still think it's a fun time. Black Panther on Steelbook, rest in peace Chadwick Boseman. Infinity War, I think I'm ready to say it's my favorite MCU movie, but I will make a video on it eventually. Ant-Man and the Wasp, still a fun time. Captain Marvel, eh, it's all right. Endgame, Endgame Steelbook, because I had to own both. And Spider-Man Far From Home. Now, Black Widow should be here by now, and the Eternals, but life goes on. We have to adapt, and hopefully we get to see both of them this year. And the last section I have here is Pixar in release order, unless there's a sequel where you'll see what I mean. Toy Story, classic. Toy Story 2, really great sequel. Toy Story 3, top two Pixar. Toy Story 4, don't love it as much as the others, but it's still a good movie. Monsters, Inc. Steelbook, gotta have it. It's such a beautiful steelbook. Finding Nemo, classic Pixar. Watch this all the time in school. Finding Dory, it's gone down recently for me in memory, but it's still a fun little sequel. The Incredibles Elite. Incredibles 2, I've only seen this once in theater, surprisingly, and I, I still thought it was all right. I just need to rewatch it. Ratatouille, perhaps my favorite Pixar movie, and I love the steelbook. Leif Esteen is a banger from this movie, and probably like my favorite Pixar song. Up, a beautiful steelbook. One of the, probably the coolest of the Pixar steelbooks I own. And this movie will rip your heart out in the first 10 minutes and life goes on. It's still one of my favorite Pixar movies. Inside Out, I love uh, Bundle of Joy, the score, and this movie is so freaking original and unique. Coco, remember me. This movie made me cry. And Onward, one of my favorite movies of the year. I wish I had a slipcover. And then down here, I've got the complete James Bond collection. I did a kind of unboxing of it a little bit in the recent Blu-ray haul that I posted. I'm going to watch through all of those leading up to No Time to Die. I have seen all the Daniel Craig movies. I have not seen a lot of the other ones. Those paired with Gifted and Godfather 3 are the only movies I own that I have not seen. So most of these movies I have seen. That's just the way I roll. Stranger Things 1 and 2 on Blu-ray. I like how they do the VHS sets and the Breaking Bad complete series with the El Camino Steelbook. A nice little Breaking Bad section for my favorite TV show of all time or at least the TV show that I think is the best of all time. But yeah, that's gonna do it for the entire Blu-ray collection. Whew, you can probably see the sweat on my forehead. Man, that was a workout, um, but it was a lot of fun. <laughs> so uh, definitely hit the like button, comment down below your favorite Blu-rays of mine that I own. Was anyone keeping count? If you counted how many I own, let me know down below. Usually when I count, I count each movie as one. So like the Indiana Jones set has four movies in it. So I'd count that as four instead of one. If you made it to the end of this video, comment down below. Hashtag Funko Pop. I don't know. 
I'm looking at my pops on the other corner, so I was like, why not? It's the first thing to pop in my head. I appreciate you guys for watching. Um, if this is your first video of mine, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. I do a lot of content, whether it's Blu-ray stuff, movie reviews, rankings, TV reviews, now playings, vlogs, all that good stuff. So stay tuned for that. Um, I'm gonna go edit this thing. I have no idea how long it's gonna be, but uh, we're gonna get through it and I'm sweating and there's football on and yeah. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Here's to 2021, uh, new year. I hope you all have a great year. Until next time, see you guys later. Thank you.